Today we are going to discuss about how to create a WC service and then consume it from a client application. For creating a WC service application, let's click on File, New, and then select Project. Under Visual C Sharp, you have to select WCF. Then select WCF Service Application and rename as per your requirement. Here it is Test and then select OK button. This will open a WCF Service Application. If you can see in the test solution, there is mainly having two files one interface file and one SVC file. Here, the service file is SVC file. All the business logic or data operations will be written on the service file. The definitions of these methods will be written on the interface file. When we call the service on the client side, we call the interface only. Let's consider about one method in the service file. Here it is get data. Input is one integer value and this method would return a string. If we consider the interface part, all the interface will be written under service contract. And each method will be written under operation contract. In our example, get data, we are inputting one integer value and returning a string value. And it is written under operation contract. Let's consider how to run this application. First of all, for running this application, we need to make this project a startup project. For that, right click on the test project. Now click on the setup startup project. And then click on the SVC file. You can see we need to make it a start page. Click on the setup start page. By this way, we will be able to run this application using WCF test client. Now, your service is open in the WCF test client. As you can see, the service file is svc1.svc and we are calling iService, that means interface. Instead of that, we can get the, all the methods listed in the service. Here, first of all, we are calling getData. As you can see, here is the portion for inputting the value. Here it is integer. If we put one as integer and click invoke button, we'll invoke the get data service with input one. Let's click that invoke button. Yes, we got the output as u ended one. By this way, we can call a WCF service using WCF test client. Here we consider how to host a WCF service and consume it from a client application. As you can see, this is my WC service application test. We are going to publish this service in IAS. For that, right click on the project icon, click on the publish link. This will open a new window where you need to create a publish profile. Let's start that. Create a new one. We are creating with dev profile name. Now we need to say where it should be published. We need to select file system and select a target path. Here I am selecting my local IAS path and click the next button. The configuration should be released instead of debug and check the delete all existing files prior to publish and click the next button. Now click the publish button. This will publish your service, WC service to IS. So you can see the output result, the publish is succeeded. Now, if you go to the IS and browse your service, host WC service, you can see it would list all the content in the browser. Click on the SVC file. Yes, now the service is opened. Just copy this link and open your client application. Here it is. Demo, my solution. And right click on the demo project icon and click on the add service reference. Here you need to paste the service reference that you have already copied. And click the go button. 
this would list all the service methods in the operation section you need to rename as per your requirement here I am renaming it as my service name and click the OK button this would add my service reference to this inside the solution we need to rebuild the solution once again yes the rebuild is succeeded now let's consider how to info the service methods inside code first of all we need to create an instance of our service reference here we are creating it by service reference dot client obj equals new client now if you take the obj dot it would list all the methods inside the service reference both synchronous and asynchronous methods will be available here we would consider obj dot get data method which would accept one integer as input this method would return a string value okay now we are able to call a service method get data with input 1 now let's debug this client application with one breakpoint as you can see the breakpoint is hit let me press F10 now initializing the service calling the service method get data with input 1 let's see the result yes the result is u entered 1 by this way we are able to call the WC service from our client application and get the result thank you guys for watching this video please visit technomark.in for more information